Hello everybody. This video is designed to teach you how to calculate the direction angle of a vector. So, we have a vector here and our vector is right, 8, negative 4. Now to see the direction angle, um, I moved my vector AB to standard position. All right, and it's going to help us figure out, or see it anyway, a little more clearly. So my direction vector, excuse me, my direction angle is this angle right here. And one thing we want to be thoughtful of is that our direction angle is going to be a positive angle. All right? So this is going to be a positive angle. Now, your calculator may give you a negative result, and so we're going to figure out how to interpret that result to get our direction angle. I can see here that I have this angle here. Now because the arrow is moving this way in a clockwise direction, this is going to show me that this is a negative angle. Right? I want the positive angle. All right? So, should be fairly straightforward. Right? Let's make our right triangle again. And again, given that my vector is 8, negative 4, I have, again, if I want this theta, I know my opposite, I know my adjacent. That tells us that we're going to use the tangent function, right? Opposite over adjacent. Y over X. Okay? Therefore, to find that theta, we want to use the inverse tangent function of negative 4 over 8. And let's see what we get here. All right. Uh, I'm going to take negative 4 and I'm going to divide it by 8 and then I'm going to find the inverse tangent and I get negative 26.565. Right? Negative 26.565. Again, knowing that our direction angle is a positive angle, just with a quick drawing, I can see in order to get my direction angle, I'm going to add 360 degrees. Right? Between this angle and this angle, that is one full, re full rotation, which is 360 degrees. And I can do that. I hope, what's that? 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. Okay? So, all right, that theta is approximately 333 degrees, 0.435, right? Or, sorry about that, 333.435. Again, when you are using trig, go to at least two decimal places, okay? Now let's see if I have a vector in the second quadrant. Again, I know that my direction angle is going to be greater than 90. I set this up, the tangent uh, of theta is going to be, all right, Opposite over adjacent, y over x. Again, I'm getting negative 59.04, which is going to be this angle. And I can see if I know this angle and I want to find the positive part, I'm going to add 180, correct? All right, so that's going to give us 120.96 degrees. What happens if we are in the third quadrant? All right. Same thing. Uh, use the tangent function, y over x. Again, I'm getting 59.04 degrees, which is this piece. And I can see that my angle is going to be bigger than 180. So in this case, I'm going to add 180 to give me 239.04 degrees. So hopefully this helps you when you have the vectors in different quadrants. Thanks for watching.